Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and I've developed an obsession with S100 bus computer systems. I recently acquired a Chromemco SCC single card computer board, which I'm particularly excited about. It looks like this was intended for embedded system applications. So the first three connectors here are parallel ports. The third one has a special reset pin that apparently you can use to reset the board without resetting the entire bus. And the fourth connector here is a serial connection. So I have transmit is white and receive is green and the blue wire here is ground. Oh wait, I should clarify, pin two here, the white, is transmit from the point of view of whatever we're hooking this to. So it's actually receive from the point of view of the Chromemco. The documentation is a little confusing about this point. And so the green here is receive from the point of view for whatever we're hooking it to. So it's transmit from the point of view of the Chromemco board. And I have that receive, transmit, and ground hooked up to this DB9 connector, or I think it's technically a DE9 connector, but whatever. And this doohickey has a converter chip in it to convert that to USB, or I should say serial over USB, to hook to my Macintosh. And allegedly MCB216 was the part number for the ROM containing the standard Chromemco monitor and 3K of a tiny basic called Control Basic. And this card is just supposed to start at 0000, unlike other Chromemco cards that have a set of jumpers or switches where you can set the highest four bits of the starting address. Okay, so I'm going to start up a serial terminal, 9600 baud, because why not, and flip this thing on. All right, computer, tell me something. Uh, tell me something? Uh, not telling me anything. Okay, I need to put down the phone to do this, but I'm going to touch these wires together to do a reset. Oh, sadness. Nope. Now, there's also this CU version of your serial terminals, and that didn't do anything. Huh. Okay, so there's two possibilities. One is, or actually there's three possibilities. One is there's something wrong with the card. Two is I'm not understanding something about how to hook it up to my Mac here. Maybe there's another something or the other about handshaking, or maybe the number of stop bits is different. This 9600, I kind of picked that arbitrarily, and the manual is pretty vague about what the actual sort of default rate of this basic or monitor is when it pops up. Anyway, if anyone has any insight, let me know. Okay, the third possibility is that there's something wrong with the card, and I don't understand something about hooking it up. All right. If anyone has any insight, please let me know. I will mention that these chips have kind of gunk on the legs. So usually the first thing I do on something like this is I pop out the chips and pop them back in and that will solve a surprising amount of problems. But there's a lot of chips on here. So if there's a more direct way of figuring out what's going on, that would be great. So just for fun, I made sure that the serial chip and the processor were getting correct voltages. And the serial chip actually needed a bunch of weird voltages. In addition to plus five, it needs minus five and plus 12. So it's like an older generation part. So this doesn't have a front panel data connector, but I'm wondering if I might be able to use it with an MSI style front panel and at least look at the address bus, or maybe using this front panel with this board will mess something up. I don't know. If you know, let me know. As an aside, something I found strange about the SCC is that it does not play nicely with Chromemco's 4FDC disk drive controller out of the box. There's apparently IO port and memory conflicts, so there's pages upon pages of modifications that you can make it to the SCC to make that work. 
but I don't know why they wouldn't just design the SEC to be happy with the drive controller to begin with.